Praise God. When God is pulling you out of something, don't look back. When God is taking you out from a place to go to another place, don't look back. Sometimes you look back with your mind. Don't look back. Hallelujah. Don't look back. Praise God. When God is pulling you out, we remember how God pulled out our Abraham from out of the country that he was in. And sent him to another place, Sis Andrea. Remember that scripture? When God pulled out Abraham from the place he was and sent him to another place. That was for his success. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sometimes God wants to put you down low to lift you up high. Pull you down to lift you up high. Come on, praise God. It is not easy when you are going through pain to laugh, you know. But you are going through an experience that will take you to another level. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. It is not easy when you are going through a test either. You are going through a test and you hear a lot of voice talking to you. Because it wants to confuse you from where you're supposed to be going to get you into another direction. Praise God. But never last focus. Praise Thank God. And I will bring them from they shall dwell in the midst of where? Jerusalem. And they shall be my people. And I will be their God. In what? Truth, truth and, and in righteousness. You cannot come to God except you come in truth and righteousness. You cannot get deliverance except you totally clean. You have to repent for truth and righteousness. Somebody says, search me and see if there's anything in me need to take it out, God. Come on, praise God. Oh, praise God. Somebody says, if anything in me, take it out. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because we have to go to truth and righteousness. And if we want to make heaven our home, we have to go to truth and righteousness. Because who we are going to is truth and righteousness. Praise God. Oh, praise God. We have been walking on the falsehood too long. We have stayed in lie too long. Oh, praise God. And these things cause us to be weary and sickly and sad. Hallelujah. Feel lonely and depressed and confused and miserable. Oh, praise God. It is nothing can set you true, free but the truth. The truth will set you free today. Somebody quickly find Jeremiah 4 verse 2. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you find it, read it. Jeremiah 4 verse 2. Praise God. You look at some people and somebody talking to you and he, he, he cannot look in your eyes because he's not speaking the truth. Oh, praise God. You have to look sideways. Praise God. Jeremiah 4 verse 2. Praise God. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, in righteousness. And the nation shall bless themselves in him. And in him shall thy glory. So, without Jesus Christ, without the true church, we can't make it. We had to start from truth and end with truth. Praise God. If you never know, no today. Praise God. That means you cannot have any other God beside Jesus Christ because you based upon truth and righteousness. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. And if you're sitting down there and you don't have the truth, you cannot... Feel justified before the pastor. That's speaking the truth. Oh, if you're sitting down and you're not living right, you cannot have a praise. Never you never cannot have a testimony. Never you never must never look droopy yeah. and dead. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Look warm and cold. Hallelujah. Because you don't sit up on truth. Come on, praise God. Praise so read it one more time for me. Jeremiah 4 verse 2. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth, in, truth, in, judgment, in judgment, and in righteousness. In righteousness. And in the nations the shall, bless shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. So, no matter nobody that comes upon another, they know who rich. All you get your riches. If the Bible said the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, and the people that are going to a church to go into church cannot find their means. Oh praise God, how you get riches. You're rich. You're in the world and you're rich. And the Bible said all things must be done in truth and in righteousness. 
and the people where they go to church, except yeah. them go to bandulu, we and tell lie, then can't prosper us. And the one them where they live righteous uh, and godly can hardly put food on the table. So how you rich? Oh my God. No truth. No truth. No truth. No truth. Come on. Come on, Virgin. Say no truth. Oh no say no truth. No truth. We go to the left, no truth. Go to the right, no truth. Go to the east, no truth. Go to the west, no truth. All of lie and come short of the glory of God. And yet we want, and yet the word of God said, every nation must bless themselves through truth and righteousness. Praise oh, praise God. You don't see that God is coming to judge. Oh, praise, oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. If it is not truth, it is false. Praise God. So therefore you cannot teach the members righteousness. Because you yourself is a crook. Oh praise the Lord Jesus. Come on somebody. But I hear the word of God said today. For thus said the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem. Break up your folly grounds and sow no more among stones. Break up your folly grounds. Church people break up your folly grounds. Church people, break up your folly grounds. Worldly and break up your folly grounds. Repent for the kingdom of God is a turn. It is time for us to break up. It's going on time. Praise God. It's going on time and we are not ready yet. Break up your folly grounds. Search. Let us start searching ourselves today. Because none of us is walking under generation curse. Oh, praise God. Generation lie. Hallelujah. Grandpa lie. Grandmother lie. Father lie. Mother lie. And people then come lie. And mother and father want to kill people. So they're liar. Break up our folly grounds. This is the last chance that we get God riding in the church with the mass upon 